What's up everybody, this is Master Puppet 762 bringing you a tutorial on how to make a band background for your YouTube or your website or whatever you want. And uh, I'm going to show you right now. First of all, your first step you need is to go to Google and you'll need to uh, go up here and then press on the images box and once you're in Google Images you'll want to type in a band in the little box that you'd want a logo of so let's say you know what just for some of you people out there I'm just gonna pick a uh, something you guys might know Slayer logo and then well sometimes they'll be the first thing you might not want to have a logo just to be quicker but it's always safer to do a logo and this is what you'll want to try to find you'll want to try to find something like this or this or that not that you do not want any backgrounds that have a white background because no, first of all many band logos have white have black backgrounds and you want them to blend and if you have a white background it'll be a little bit harder to make them blend because well, not really blend but find bands because black is more uh, oftenly found it's much more often found for some reason it just found a bunch in Slayer I don't know why but so just pick any kind of a uh, logo I'm just gonna go with this Slayer logo since it's somewhat small and you'll want to go up here to full size image press it it'll be right here you'll want to right click and then save image as then save it somewhere on your desktop or somewhere and by the way it's different for different browsers you'll have to do something else for explorer and for google chrome and places like that so it'll be different so you'll just want to save it to your desktop which right there save it and then so it's downloading and then my is so we got our first photo and we're gonna go to an empty paint it should be in your program files if you're running a any windows I think some windows might not have it, like the really earlier versions, but why are you using the earlier version of Windows? I have no why. I don't know why, but anyway, anyways, uh, to actually make your logo. Hold on, wait a second. Let me just include this really quick. You're probably going to want about at least 10 to 30 of a collection of these because your logo is going to be kind of kind of big not the logo but the background it's going to need to not be repetitive kind of like how mine is right now you see the Sepultura S and the Coma Tankard, Misfits, Amonomarth, Nuclear Assault then you got Sepultura again you don't want it to be like Sepultura then Coma then Sepultura again that would be way too repetitive it's not that good same with over here, Hatriot, Vader, At the Gates, Death, Destruction, Wolf Chant, Creator, Autopsy, Dead Kennedys. You just don't want it to be repetitive. So, so to actually open up the file, you have to go to uh, File. Oh, my bad. Paste from. Do not go to File. Paste from from the edit box. It's right there at the bottom and then you'll want to go up here and yes that's my name you'll want to go to this little button right here press on desktop or or whatever you placed that image and you'll want to you'll want to um find it which where's the image oh there it is all the way down there okay so just press on it it'll show up like that now I have a bunch more images so I'm just gonna go along with it so now that you have all your images that you could possibly use 
I'm going to show you the steps on how you can actually make your image. Okay, now, just to tell you, there is a limit on how big the image is that you can make it on YouTube. And just to tell you, it's just a little bit over. It's about, uh, let me see. Yeah, if it should have this much space if you are like on the bar it should have that much space to move over but on the sidebar it should have um, about that much space just about quite a bit not this is a tiny tiny bit but that's a bit like maybe a third yeah but anyway so now I'm gonna show you the how to actually put together it okay so you're gonna want to go to edit again then paste from now I'm gonna get my other pictures from my other file so I'm gonna go to this where is it yeah this is my other band my little grouping of bands and stuff so I'm gonna take one I'll just take Mastodon and at first it's gonna cover yours but you're, it's movable so just move it out of the way so you can move it by just right clicking it on the top of it and then moving it down or right or whatever and then drop it and then to actually keep it there you have to press off of it do something else and it'll stop messing with it okay so then we're gonna add another one paste from and then we'll choose something else. I'm gonna use Man of War. Man of War. Okay, so this is too big. It's too big, so I'm gonna go to this. Images, which is right there. And go to Resize Skew. This is what you'll want to do. Okay. You'll want to make the horizontal percentage about how much you think you need it to be shrunk so I'd say that's about 75 percent so make that 75 percent and make the other one 75 percent which is horizontal and vertical you want that also to be 75 percent so it'll actually mess it won't mess up on the proportions because if you make it too if you make it 70 and like 85 it'll look very badly it look pixelated or something trust me you'll notice if you actually try to mess with it and just press ok and look at that it's smaller but if it's small like this like too small then do not try to move it up a little bit like don't do it by 20 percent more like 120 by 120 don't don't do it because it'll look it'll look pixelated actually for some reason it does that but if it's just a little bit like this if it's a little bit like this I think you can but you could also just leave that like there like that little white spot and whenever you put an image right over here somewhere like over there crap I can't see if you like put an image over here it'll just cover that area and you can just like go over here and then press on this little button right here and fill it in with black and it'll blend in. Okay, now to put in another image. Paste from. Let's take a uh, violator. Okay, so let's say this image is. Let's say it won't fit in a certain area that you want it to fit in, which actually is completely wrong. It'll actually fit anywhere. But anyway, we'll just use that as an example. You will want to go into image flip rotate like let's say if it's in a tight spot like if it was going if you had this little like space right here that went all the way down and you had images over here and over here and this little area right here was like completely empty and you needed something to fill right there well, this is what you could do you'll want to not do that not do that but click on this and then click 90 either 90 oh yeah 
either cook 90 uh, degrees or 270. 180 will just flip the whole thing, so do not do it 180. Flipping the whole thing will just make it upside down and look awful. So just do either 90 or 120, not 120, 270, and then press OK, and this is what you get. Okay, well, then you'll want to move it over here, let's say, and that looks okay, so you're just going to drop it. This is where a little tight spot comes in here. How are you going to fill this in, huh? Well, there's no logo that could be that short. Not short, but thin. So just press on this little button right here, that's right there, and then press on black and then go over it boom it's now blended okay so watch my next video because I'll show the rest of it thank you for watching this is master puppet 762 and um stay tuned for the next episode